So the main talking point today is we are our own worst enemy. But, 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 obviously, as you know already, Dosa David, um, I always like to talk about other stuff before I get into the main talking point of the video. So, yeah, what I'm going to start with is why I will never get married. So, I must have been at work today, innit? Boom. Um, I was in the office chatting to the office people and that. And just as I was going out the door, my coordinator who sorts out my work and that for me, um, she said, oh, are you going to get married and that? I said, hell no. And my coordinator, she's a big woman. She's like 60. My manager, he's like 58. So these are big people old enough to be my parents and that they just laughed. Didn't they? I said, it's all right for you. Know, if you don't want to do that, you don't do that in it. But I'm not getting married. Which um, made me remember a conversation I had. So I was at a man's yard one time and his brother came over, innit? And I ain't seen him for years. Like, yeah, I ain't seen the youth. Like, rah, man's 29 now. I think I was all 29, 28 at the time. I ain't seen this guy for about 12 years. Like, got a man on Facebook, I think, but I ain't seen him for 12 years. And so obviously he was just asking me how I was and that. Um, I'm keeping it that he knew that man wrote a book and that and I do the YouTube thing and that because obviously he's got me on Facebook. And that. Anyway, I don't know how it came about, but the topic came about about marriage and that. And it's so frustrating to have someone try to tell you what they think is right, and they're living in some blue pill la la land and that. And it's frustrating, you know, when you want to hold your mouth and that, like, because you know about female nature, and you know about the, the red pill thing, and you just got experience with women and that. And it's, it's frustrating to have a man who is married to a dead thing, yeah, for one, trying to tell you about, ah, oh, being married is the best thing you need to get married and that, like, trying to look down on the fact that you don't want to get married and that. Because me, if I'm going to fight an argument and that, I'm going to fight it to the fullest. I ain't going to bother fight. You understand what I'm trying to say? Isn't it? And it's frustrating to, to have a man tell me, oh, yeah, man, you know, we should get married and that. And oh, my marriage is the way forward. And that. I'm like, why? Why? Why don't you want to get married? And that? Like, I find him things they're frustrating and that because I can't really go in on this conversation and that uh, and really tell a man about what he really is, like what, what women are really about and that when I've got a room and a house full of uh, blue pill people, men and women. You understand what I'm trying to say? Man can't really talk the deep thing in here. So man just had to weekly just say, oh yeah, man, I'm not really interested in marriage and try and keep it moving in here. But I had to, yeah, I had to hold my tongue. I had to hold my tongue. I had to hold my tongue. I had to hold my tongue in there. Now, now I'm more frustrated than a man that's married to a dead thing trying to tell you about, oh, you should get married in that. Like, blood, the man, is married to a dead thing. You know one of them things there you would never touch? Like, and the guy is such a neek. He doesn't even understand the situation that he's in. That's what I'm saying. These men don't, they, they can't look outside the, think outside the box or look at their situation from a third party and realise, but man was in the friend zone for a whole year. This dead thing that didn't even want to give me play for a whole year, I ended up marrying her. A man don't understand that he's in a situation where he was in the friend zone for a year. That girl, based, the reason why you're in the friend zone is because that girl's not into you, yeah? The reason why you're in a friend zone is because she's got her eyes on other people. And the reason why she married you is because, you know what? Them fuckboys there, they were, uh, they, they just um, lashed me and dashed me and that. And you know what? You're a good guy and that. You're a good provider and that. Fuck it. I'll marry you. I might not even understand that he's in that situation. I might not understand that potentially, if it's not happening now, if it ain't happened in the past, it... Potentially, it's gonna happen that the girl is gonna cheat on him. Marriage, you know, do you know who marriage is for? What type of man marriage is for? Because these men don't understand. Blood. If you get married in that, you're gonna potentially lose half your fortune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna lose half. Fuck all that. You think them prenup things stand up? Because them things they get thrown out. You still gonna pay the bitch some money in it. You're no disrespect to call the women that or oh, whatever. Really fuck. You got to still pay the woman some kind of money. Yeah. You ain't. You think you can just cut ties with a woman that you've been married to for 20 years or 10 years and that had one, two youths with. You think you're just going to cut ties, take your yard and leave a homeless out on the street? You got another thing coming, bro. 
you're going to lose your fortune. Marriage is for men that are broke. Marriage is for men that are marrying women that are earning more money than them. So it's a come up for them. Yeah. But most women, marriages are come up for them when they break up with a man. Because, yeah, what? I get half his fortune and that. Look at that woman that got married to flipping Jeff Bezos. I don't know what she was doing before, but now my woman's a billionaire just because she married Jeff Bezos. The guy, man, you think I get married? You think I get married? You know, any, any man that watching this right now, whether it's live on the replay, yeah? If you're working at Asda, cool, get married and that. But me, I've got things to lose. Yeah, I'm in the process of buying my third property in this country. Now, imagine me getting married. And then what? Walking away with one and a half house and that. You must be going crazy, cuz. I ain't getting married. No way. I'm not getting married, fam. How, how dare a man who's married a dead thing? Like, sometimes you're like, I'll watch. Like, when I used to go back to my mother's show, um, my mom was going through a period where she was watching this program called say yes to the dress and some of these girls that are going up um into the bridal store sizing up dresses and that i'm thinking who the fuck would get down on one knee and propose to you that like, what waste man with no options in this world would get down and want to commit to you like the types of girls that are like just average or scraps to the man then like the t these men are out here really wifing up the bad boys scraps and discard you understand what i'm trying to say like there's there's no way fam there's no way i'm like some some of these girls i see like some girl I, i've seen one two girls on there i'm like yeah i can understand why a man would want to propose to her or anything. But other girls as common as average as they come man are getting down on one knee to propose to an average thing to an anything talking about anything I don't know if you lot saw that video a man uploaded the other day yeah? when I was talking about, um, I think, the lengths or whatever men will go to for, for women and that. So basically, if you ain't seen that video, basically, man saw a post on the shade bar. Um, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Innit? I hear what you're saying. Though. It's a tr tr uh, traditional thing in some cultures and that. But you know what? Man for break traditions, isn't it? Man like Quincy. What's going on, fam? Long time since I seen a live stream, you know. But um, well, I say yeah. So anyway, boom. This guy must have um, yeah. So on the shade bar, they posted up a little post, a little tweeting, and basically this guy from the UK, probably London, has flown all the way over to Australia, and the girl has said, oh, he flew all the way over from England. To Australia to take me out on my first date. When I zoomed in, yeah, you know, man, after, yeah, you understand what I'm trying to say in it, yeah. When man zoomed in on this gal, because how dare a man waste his time, waste a seat on a plane for any dead thing? Like my girl trying to say, oh, she, she's pretty, but don't this girl is not pretty. Yeah, this girl is a anything, almost a dead thing at like that. Literally, there's no way I'm going to be getting off my seat to go and jump on a plane to go 24 hours across the world to go and take out a girl on a first date at anything that I could walk down the road. I could go out to Shoreditch and draw a girl like that better than that. Why would I do that? Furthermore, I could walk down Tottenham High Road and see 10 girls that are better than her. Why the hell would I take up myself and go to another country for an average, an average as, as, as they come, yeah, you must be going mad, fam. Man, I'm a neeks out here. I want to spend one penny. She would have to come to me and book the hotel. Rub my feet as well. Piss me off, blood. Yeah, yeah, I heard of him, but never never seen him, never met him in real life. I'm like, like that. He's a bit, yeah, a bit young for me, but yeah, never seen him, never met him. But yeah, never, never. These are the lengths that man am I going to? Man are trying to argue with me about why I'm not married, and the girl that you're married to, I would not even sleep with her. 
I would not take her. I'm, when I say I want to sleep with her, I wouldn't even sleep with her if she offered it. No date, you know. Just come over. Just come over. This is how low certain man's standards are. This is how, you get me, man don't respect them. So this is how a uh, lack of options that man them have, that they would marry a dead thing that put them in the friend zone for a year. Why are you going crazy, bro? And they try to convince me to get married. Yo, your guy, man, I've never listened to that nonsense. Never listened to that nonsense. But yeah, obviously, some people do it um, due to uh, tradition and that. Yeah, even if it's due to your tradition and that, but find a girl that is better looking. Yeah. And you know what, even if, I don't care how nice the girl is, you know what, forget about the looks. Yeah. Blood, you're going to lose half your fortune, blood. Because most men don't know how to maintain the attraction of a woman. This is the thing. Man, them don't understand how to maintain the attraction of a woman and that. And if you get married to a woman, if you don't understand how to maintain the attraction of, of a woman, your whole fortune, you're skating on thin ice. Because if you don't know how to maintain the attraction of a woman, the woman loses attraction for you, she's going to file for a divorce. What are you going to do if she wants to file for a, for a divorce? Remember, you cannot talk a woman into attraction. You cannot talk a woman into wanting to be with you if she doesn't feel it no more. You're playing it. You may as well play Russian roulette, fam. With a full clip. Yeah? Because most marriages end. Yeah? Before, obviously, there's always a tariff on everything in it. There's always a time span on everything in it. Yeah? But most marriages end way too quickly. Way too quickly. I blame the man there for putting themselves in that predicament. Especially the man them that's not a part of any culture where they have to get married. You get me? If man practice certain religions and that, like, it's forbidden to have children, let alone sex out of wedlock and that. So I get it. Fine. Let me see. Literally, like, some of the girls that man's been with in the past, I'm thinking, like, blood, I ain't even taken this girl seriously in a relationship. I didn't even want to be in a relationship with this girl. And you will go and wifey and put a ring on a finger on a girl that's dead? You might, fam, some of these girls, like, some, some of these men that wife up these things, I'm thinking, blood, if you've ever dealt with my things in the past, yeah, bro, you would have wifed them up on the first date. I said, would a virgin divorce you? you know? Damn, I don't know. <laughs> it's long, fam. I'm not getting involved in this marriage thing. You must be going crazy, blood. Even my girl, she's a mortgage advisor. She was on a call yesterday, no, chatting to one of her work colleagues yesterday, and I heard them say they don't even want, um, hold on, let me get it straight, let me get it straight, hold on, hold on, they don't, they, yeah, they would rather the people them not be married when they go for the shared ownership property, because if things go bad, they're going to have to sell the property, you know? that's what I'm saying, even the mortgage lenders and that are telling mortgage advisors and that are saying, boy, they don't even want people that's married. They don't even want people that's married. But there's girls out here, they will try and convince man and try to play his local mind games and that with man to try and convince them that they should get married and that. So boom, prime example. I'm not going to say no names and that, but I was chatting to a man the other day and he told me that his girl said, oh, um, they won't take you seriously when buying a mortgage. I'm sorry, they won't, the mortgage people, them, the lenders or the mortgage brokers and that will not take you seriously buying a property if you have a girlfriend, but you're not married. So basically what she's saying to a man is, you need to marry me and that, yeah? because obviously they're not gonna take us seriously. These are all, this is something that someone has just plucked out of thin air to try and convince a man that they should get married and that. So what about all the couples in this world that are not married, that have properties together? 
What about all the brothers that have properties together? What about all the sisters that have properties together? What about all the uh, mums and sons or dads and daughters or dads and sons that have properties together? You don't need to be in a relationship or a sort of committed marriage with someone to buy a property. This is, see what I mean? This is the manipulation that women do. They pluck things out of thin air that sound good. That sound, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, I'll run with that. Yeah, tell their boyfriend and that, yeah. In order for us to get a mortgage together and that, we need to get married. And some man will run with it. A man come to me and I said to him, nah, fam, that, that, that's not true. No, 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 that's 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 not true. And I had to make references twice on that day and the next day. I don't want a man getting trapped. I don't want a man getting trapped. I don't want my friend, my, my people then getting trapped and that. Oh, man says shared ownership's a mugs game. Uh why 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 would you say shared ownership is a mugs game? I mean it's better to own a piece of a pie than to own nothing at all in it yeah so it's better to own a piece of a pie than to own nothing but with the shared ownership thing is you're paying rent yeah see um a lot of people and gyal in particular like to fool people on social media and i clocked it only just now in it like only of recently in it because obviously my girls are mortgage advisor and it's obviously man chat and i noticed a lot of gal, black gal, would always be stunning on the gram and that. Yeah? They all have they all have all pictures like of, of, of their new key. Yeah? So they'll, they'll they'll have a picture, they'll take a picture of the key in front of the house. Just bought my new property and that rare, 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 woo, woo, whatever, and yeah. And I see quite a lot of girl in there, a lot of black girl, a couple white girl and that, you get me? But urban people and that, not no square nerdy people like, you get me? People there, minute, yeah, urban people and that. The type of people that wear Gucci, Balenciaga, you know them people there, innit? Oh, trendy people. And I was like, rah, how comes all these people manage to get their hands on a, a, a new build property and that? Like, rah, what go on here? Innit? And I realised, oh, okay. They're only buying a share of a property. So they're probably only putting down five or 10 grand for a new build property in that. But they won't tell the gram that. Oh, they won't, oh, they won't, they won't tell the gram that their mortgage is 200 pounds a month, but they're paying 400 pounds a month in rent. They are, see, these people, they hide shit on the gram and that. Yeah, they won't tell us that in it. Yeah, they all just, oh, I've got this new property and that. But you only got 45% of the property. Yeah, when we try and own the whole team. But again, obviously, owning a piece of a pie is better than owning no pie in it. Yeah. But I just find it funny that, oh, okay, I understand why a lot of these gyal nowadays are in new build properties. And I got to think about, raw, how they get so fortunate that they're able to buy a brand new new build property? Because you know? new build properties are always overpriced. Yeah, It's like a new car. A car might be worth 10 grand on the forecourt. You drive it off the forecourt, now it's worth eight. New build properties are always overpriced and anything new, yeah? A PlayStation or whatever in the shop is whatever amount of money, but a month later it's worth, you know, £80 less or whatever. New is always overpriced and that. I was like, right, how come these women are always in these new build properties and that? They're looking fresh and that. Yeah, be stunting for the gram. And I clocked, oh, it's just shared ownership. They put down 10 bags, which is nothing. Um, they're paying £250 a month in mortgage, but they're paying five bills in rent. I mean, it's better than nothing, isn't it? But to then still stand on the ground, like, yeah, I'm doing your thing, doing your thing. You're half kind of doing your thing, isn't it? 